So first, there's the uh, Tamiya WR02 chassis. Two wheel drive, rear wheel drive. Very simple design. There's the gearbox consisting of a bunch of gears in there for the rear wheel. There's many variations of WR02. There's about five or six different models. It would have been released about early 2000 and it's still running to today. We have a GF01. We now have four wheel drive. Gearbox is different, but still overall has a lot of similar gears. Here it's, I'm not sure you could see, it's a transparent case here, but it's just a bunch of gears, no dry shaft whatsoever. Motor sits right in the middle. And because it's such a short wheelbase, we have a wheelie bar, because this thing will pull some wheelie when you give plenty of power. This is the 6x6 version. So you can see the gearbox went from the first one I showed WR02, but that about goes from this length. And then the GF01 had a little more gear, a little bigger gearbox, essentially about from here. And, and then this one released about five years or so, the G601. Now, Tamiya released about five different models so far of G601. Started off with the, the Kong head and released roughly the same time or shortly after the Kong head is the King Yellow, which is the school bus six by six. Then there's also the uh, Dyna head with the porter, porter axles and also a Volvo dump truck uh, six by six as well. I may be missing one, um, but I know there's at least four or maybe five of the G601 platform. This is the uh, Tamiya Unimog, uh, which is on the CCO2 platform. However, it has been extended by about this much here. Well, about this much from the uh, CCO2 or CCO1 Tamiya Unimog to accommodate the extra two wheels. The body is mounted by magnetic, four magnets. I'm gonna slowly lift it up here. Just lift straight up. Come on antenna, okay, it comes right off. So here's the body. Uh, gotta get better tape here for the LED. Also includes a custom interior. Now it does have an LED light, so this thing does light up. But what I want to show you, this beautiful G601 chassis. It is stock. However, these are not the stock tires. The stock tires would be similar as what you find on the Tamiya Lunchbox or Midnight Pumpkin. These are actually rims and tires from the ECX amp, which is a stadium truck or the buggy. Uh, I've used these Yeah Racing body mount uh, on a couple of vehicles. Um, for a couple of reasons. So this here, the body post here, was initially trimmed for the, it's too short for this one here. So it has to be a little longer. However, with the magnetic, I'm able to raise it a little higher. So it's a little giving me more freedom and I don't have to do extra holes in the body. And it's easier as you can see, put it on and off. It takes uh, no effort. The only downside, is if you roll over or if you go really fast and hit bumps or on very, very rough surface, the body can um, be dislocated or uh, comes, it can come off the chassis. But you have to be pretty hard on it. You could get an optional kit to have it four wheel steering, but I think that's an overkill. So I'd rather keep it just two wheel steering. The servo is mounted like the other WR02, AGF01, kind of a uh, weird position here. Uh, it's at an awkward angle. Usually, I prefer servo to be a little lower, 
more a little center. But I'm not sure this is an afterthought, but it does work okay. The steering radius is okay, except all these four are locked, so not the sharpest turning truck, but it will do most of the time. Uh, the shocks are friction because they are stock. It has a little bit of travel, not too much. I do plan to upgrade these to oil shocks. Um, that's one of the first thing I do with the kits. If it doesn't come with it, I upgrade to normally, uh, if I could get Tamiya shocks would be good or aftermarket is fine for this vehicle. Um, other than that, it is stock. It is a fun ve a vehicle. Um, and I find with this body here, it works quite well. Put the body back on and I will uh, show you a running video of this monster truck or beast after I put this body back on here make sure it's lined up properly and I think it's it yeah as you can see very easy with the magnetic body metal uh, a little more about this body here uh, so this is painted uh, by myself uh, by a local painter I uh, did a really, really good job kind of camo um, theme here and also did the custom interior was for another vehicle, but I managed to, uh, it was on an axial vehicle. I managed to made it fit in this body quite nice. Uh, these LED, I am waiting for uh, light buckets. So I will be mounting like a low profile light bucket here and here to use these LEDs. I hate to cut them off. Um, this body was mounted on another vehicle and this was the winch. Unfortunately, it's cut and I wish it wasn't cut. So it has uh, working headlights and working taillights as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to say about this vehicle. And um, stay tuned for a short running video uh, outside. Mm -hmm.